Hey everyone, it's Lauren Messiah and it is time for another fashion question video. This question was submitted on Instagram and I was like, hey, this is a good one. And actually, I think it was also submitted in the comment section of a previous YouTube video. Good question. You wanna know what the question is? I'm about to tell you. <laughs> it's outfit ideas or styling tips if you're speaking on stage. So this is funny because in one of my client makeover videos, I was getting someone prepared for speaking on stage. And I noticed in the comment section, people were like, oh, she should wear more of this, she should do more of that. But when you're dressing to speak on stage, whether it's like a TED talk or a corporate workshop, you really have to keep a lot of different things in mind when you're choosing your outfit. So, you know, I could tell you some generic things to wear, but it really depends on, you know, the platform circumstances, but these general style tips, I think will help guide you towards making the right decision on what to wear. All right, so here's the first thing that you wanna think about. You wanna remember that you're probably, pretty much definitely gonna have your photo taken. Either they're gonna take pictures of you on stage or once you get off of stage, people are gonna to wanna to take selfies, take Instagram pictures with you. So you wanna make sure that your outfit is figure flattering. This is not time to like take a big fashion risk, wear something oversized, like what I have on now, like oversized sweater and like this dress underneath, this would not fly for on stage. It is so shapeless. And when I look back at the footage, I'll be like, oh my gosh, I look like five times bigger than I actually am. So when you're speaking on stage, you want to make sure that you're following those body type principles and that your body looks amazing. You know, I get a lot of questions about body type things because I have my dress right for your body type course. I have my style yourself slim freebie where I talk about dressing for your body type and people are like, but do you always have to dress for your body type? You know, what if I wanna wear this? You don't always have to dress for your body type, but when you're speaking on stage, you absolutely do <laughs> because you will be so just sick over it when you don't look flattered looking at the photos or looking back at the video. So make sure number one, you're flattering your figure. Number two, you want to avoid wearing anything with busy prints or patterns like what i have on what i have on is what not to wear on stage okay you don't want to distract from your message so when i was going through my client's closet who was prepping to go on a like speaking tour all of her stuff was like way too busy and people gave me a lot of shit in the comments like oh what older women can't wear patterns i'm like you guys clearly missed the point you don't want to distract from your message. So she had picked some hideous turtleneck. I mean, it was hideous. Yeah, that's just one thing. We got rid of it. This ugly turtleneck with all these crazy colors and patterns, everyone would just be looking at the shirt and not, they wouldn't hear her message and they wouldn't really connect with her. So when you're speaking on stage, you want the outfit to look good, of course, but you don't want it to overshadow you and your message. And crazy busy prints and patterns are like the fastest way to distract from your message. So avoid that. Um, third tip for picking out an outfit to wear on stage, make sure that the color like really pops and complements your skin. Now you can go back into my old videos in my um, style expert series when I'm interviewing experts. I have a video where I interviewed um, a woman who specializes in finding your colors. So I'm not saying you have to go get your colors done, but you wanna make sure that you are wearing a color that's really working for you and not against you. Um, you can go with jewel tones, those are universally flattering and pretty much always look good um, when you're on stage. So like, you know, reds, royal blues, um, like a nice purple, that's really cool. Um, that is like, you just wanna look healthy. <laughs> you know, you don't wanna look sickly and wear some light brown dress. Like you need to make a statement and you need to really look great. Um, okay, so that's number three. Number four, I just lost it and it was so good. It was so good. Fit 
print color I don't think this is it but this is another one movement okay we need to make sure that we can really move this is not the time to squeeze into something you can't feel constricted so think about what you're going to be doing are you going to be sitting are you going to be standing are you going to be pointing are you going to be jumping make sure the outfit is completely comfortable so it can move and work with you while you're on stage and number five why can't i think of this last tip this is killing me because it was so good. Oh, yes, the most important tip of all. Here we go. Make sure that it's relatable to your audience. Okay, this is huge. This is huge. So I remember um, I did this retreat and the woman came in and she had like your classic speaking on stage look. It was like, you know, a kind of form-fitting dress. It was in like a nice bright blue. She had on a great pair of heels. Her makeup was done, her hair was done. She looked great if she were delivering a TED Talk. However, the stage that she was on was more intimate. There was less of us. It was in a more cozy environment. And she just looked really out of place. And to be honest, like it wasn't just because I work in fashion, because I asked some other people too. They noticed it and it just created a disconnect. So make sure that you're taking the temperature of, you know, your environment and who your audience is. Like I've spoke on stage where I'm wearing like shorts. <laughs> like I, I remember I did a talk for Bumble uh, business and it was like a female entrepreneur thing. It was casual. Um, we had all these different little like kind of entrepreneur games set up. It was a very playful environment. So I made sure that I was fashion forward and looked professional, but still had a little bit of fun. So in that environment, like I totally got away with wearing little leather shorts and a blazer and some cool heels. Like it matched the environment, it matched my personal brand and it totally worked. So don't think that you have to go for that generic, like bright sheath dress and heels. Um, you really wanna take the temperature of your audience. So those are my tips for what to wear, when you're speaking on stage or speaking in front of an audience, um, I hope they're helpful. You know, since my mind is just like short circuiting, maybe I missed some tips. You can put them in the comment section below. If you spoke on stage or if you've come across some great tips in your travels, leave them in the comment section below. While you're down there, hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss a single video. And I will catch you in the next one. Laura Messiah. So I'm Lauren Messiah. Hello. <laughs> Here I took a oversized Dodgers jersey, which is for a man. Yeah. Put a belt over it and that. some heels. We have just brought sexy back yes, you have. to the Dodgers. So, you know. I mean, the Puig jersey has never looked so good. Like this.